Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, Weather Rate certified eight years in a row. Well, Alana joining us now, and it, it was snowy up in Park City and Heber and I-80, and you were showing us images, and it's hard to believe we're, we're at that point of the well, season. I'm going to make you believe because I have the cutest video right off the top. We've got some Heber uh -oh. kids who woke uh -oh. up. Hey, it's a snow day. They had who the dog that? in the backyard. Do you recognize any of those kids? That's Mr. my McGurk? daughter Penelope playing in the backyard. And there's Max, Max McGurk, one of my faves. They're so cute, What's up, Nick. Max? They're really, they're really, really we cute. Had such an awesome morning in the snow. I Look at Penelope. Like the excitement is there. Winter is knocking, <laughs> and we just made it into fall. But this is just so Ooh. adorable. Dog having a good time. Everyone's out and about and wanted to enjoy it <laughs> if you got the snow. So there were some areas that were favored by that northwest flow. Heber Valley was one of them. Park City was one of those areas. We saw it in the Cottonwood Canyons. We know that they, those are the areas that had accumulating snow. Really just enjoying it. Love to see that video and everybody getting out there and having a good time. Well, the storm has cleared. It's moving to the east and now high pressure, which you notice here with its clockwise flow, has taken control, which means we will see a gradual warming trend as we head through the beginning of our work week and calmer conditions. Right now we just have a few lingering snow showers up there in the high country. This storm system dropped in from the Pacific Northwest. Cold air behind it and we still see how the Pacific Northwest very active at this hour and as that system continues to track east. We're just seeing Wyoming really getting a bulk of it now but still we've got that northwesterly flow so a few disturbances will actually continue to move through throughout the week. One of them Wednesday into Thursday another tomorrow morning and that could bring light snow showers up there to our higher elevations yet again.